Oh, damn. What? I can't remember what it was I wanted to tell you. What, what was it? How should I know what it was you wanted to tell me? Well, what were we talking about? What, 20 seconds ago? I don't remember. Well, you always said that you were smarter than me. Well, when did I say that? I don't remember when, but I'm certain that I remember you saying it. Am I sitting in the right place? Yes, you're sitting in the right place. You sit there, I sit here. Well, what makes you so sure? I'm the smart one, remember? <laughs> At least I act like I am. Boy, I really can't remember what it was I wanted to tell you. What was it? How should I know what it was you wanted to tell me? Well, what were I, we talking about? 20 seconds ago, I don't remember. But you're always saying that you're smarter than me. I am. When did I say that? I don't remember when, but I do remember you saying it. You know, this, this all sounds oddly familiar. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You look oddly familiar. I am oddly familiar. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. This is really odd. In Akron, Ohio, a soda brand that's been dormant for 53 years. Kind of like us. Yeah. Well, it's back on the market. What's it called? Norca Sparkling Beverages, which is Akron spelled backwards. Oh, oh, oh. That's stupid. Lucky they don't make it in Moore Park. Oh, that'd really be stupid. Something about crap room sparkling <laughs> beverages. That just doesn't sit well with me. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay, and speaking of crap, Universal Pictures says this next film will be an urban thriller uh, starring rap stars Ice Cube, Vanilla Ice, and Ice Tea, along with newcomers Ice Tray, Iceberg, Ice Machine, and a hot new female rapper, Ice Chest. Cool. cool. Okay, here's one. In Boulder, Colorado, the Palace Donut and Coffee Shop has started all-night drive through service. Well, that's yeah. smoking. But maybe they should change the name to Munchies, Carbs, Sugar, and Caffeine drive through Palace. You know, light up and line up. Totally, totally. There's a spicy story in the food section from Condiment City, Iowa. Seems like there's an infestation of the invasive garlic mustard plant. Huh? It was transplanted from their sister city, Chiffonade, France. Oh, Chiffonade. It took root on Cabbage Hill, spread through Meatloaf Valley, mm. and now covers a very large pocket of pita flats. <laughs> the city fathers have proposed introducing two natural enemies of garlic mustard. Right, right. The basil ketchup plant and the oregano mayo, mayo bush. Yeah. yeah. Interviewed on the Food Channel in his limousine, Mayor Grey Poupon said, this is a great recipe for success, but the temperature must be just right before adding the ketchup and the mayo, yeah. which means waiting for the proper seasons, seasons. to come along <laughs> to properly serve our sensitive palates without stirring up the environmentalists. Yes, and none to mention the chefs. It doesn't mention the chefs. <laughs> okay, the Montana Senate in response to a massive surge in the number of tourists this year, has passed a bill raising the speed limit from 75 to 90 miles per hour. Boy, that's going to thin the herd in the big sky state, yeah, huh? Yeah, you ain't heard nothing yet. Five years after investigators found Maria Bufford's right foot on an abandoned train track, Ooh. the case of the missing 56-year-old had not been solved until she appeared suddenly at the local sheriff's station demanding her foot <laughs> yeah. back. I bet she was hopping mad, huh? Oh, I wonder who foot the <laughs> bill for the reattachment, huh? <laughs> okay, uh, here's one. The school board in Buffalo is calling an end to the sit and stare practice. What's the problem? I do that all the time. No, no, no. These are young people who have trouble concentrating in class and uh, and uh, for extended periods of time they just space out. I'm sorry, what were you saying? Special students. They, 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 they uh, because of school regulations, you know, they have to be in the classroom when the tests are oh, given. Oh, I see. So they have to sit in the back of the class and just stare off into space <laughs> for hours at a time. Well, that's just mandatory daydreaming. I mean, I, I, I majored in that in college. Yeah, I was in the graduate program. <laughs> yeah, tell me about it. I don't it. doubt it. Uh, hold on, hold on. Now, didn't you once tell me that your grandson had ADD? Well, they thought he did. His teacher called a, a parent-teacher conference with my, my son Jerry yeah and she said uh, to Jerry you know your son Patrick uh, has a hard time paying attention in class and he always has something smart about whatever I say I noticed he wasn't finishing his uh, geography project the other day so uh, the teacher went up to, to Patrick and said you have to persevere Patrick do you know what perseverance is yeah my grandson says yeah I do so when mom can't find her purse, but she keeps looking for it anyway. Yeah, that's very smart. That's perseverance. <laughs> and then the next day, the teacher made the big mistake of having her class guess her age. 
He guessed 87. Oh, she set herself up for that one. Yeah, she, she did she's about 42. 42, sure. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, and, uh, then, and, then, and then, oh, dig this. The next day, she said to the class, uh, when I was a little girl, my grandmother took me to Egypt wow. to see the Sphinx and the pyramids. And my grandson, Patrick, raised his hand and said, they're finished now. <laughs> All right, so what's the problem? <laughs> I know. Smart kid. I know. He and, and and like Jerry said to the teacher, he listens to everything you say. That's he does right. exactly what I tell him to do. Yeah. If he's misbehaving in class, I can't control that. That's your problem. His problem. You got to deal with it. And she says, "Oh, okay. Now I know where he gets it from." Oh. And he said, "No. Now you know from where he gets it." Oh, that's cheeky. Yeah. What did your son do for a living? He was an English teacher. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> now he writes comedy. <laughs> All right, here comes the bus. Good, good. <laughs>